Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a web browser in C Sharp. So open up Visual Studio and select the WPF framework and rename it. So first of all we're going to need a web browser. So type in web browser and then horizontal alignment and we're going to give it left. And the vertical alignment as top and then type in margin equals to 10 comma 50 comma 10 and 10 next we're going to give it a height and width so type in height equals to 300 and the width we're going to equal it to 450 next i'm going to give it a name as my web browser so next we're going to need three buttons so type in button and Next, we're going to write some text in and we're going to equal that to back. Next, type in horizontal alignment and we're going to equal it, it to left. Next, go verti vertical alignment and type in width, sorry, top. Next, we're going to give it a margin. So, 10 mine comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 next we're going to give it a height and width so height is equal to 50 and next width is equal to 100 next we're going to give it a name as as bt and stop sorry back and then close it so as you can see this is our button back and this is the web browser here so next we're going to put our second button so type in button and content that means the text in it and going to give it forward Next, we're going to give it the same horizontal and vertical alignment as the button back. So, horizontal alignment. And is left. And the vertical alignment is top. Next, uh, we're going to change the margin a bit. So type in 100, 0, 100, 100. Next, we're going to give the same height and width button our first button has. And we're going to name it. And this is going to be BTN forward. Next, close it. So here's our second button right here. Next, we're going to uh, put the third button here. So go button. And we are going to put the text in it as such. Next, we're going to put the horizontal alignment as right. and the vertical alignment as top and we're going, we are not going to give it any margin so next we're going to put a height and it's going to be 50 
and the width as hundred and close it. So this is a button search and we are going to put a text box right here. So type in text box. And we are going to set the horizontal alignment as center and the vertical alignment as top. Next, we're going to give it a height and a width. So height is go going to be equal to 25. And the width is going to be 175. As txt search and the margin as 100 comma 10 comma 0 comma 0 and then close it so this is our text box right here so when we run our application we will put our text or url, URL in here next we are going to write the code in code to work this application so select the search button and open up the properties window and then select this uh, lightning bolt icon and then click this text box twice and i'm going to type in my web browser dot navigate two brackets and txt search dot text so what this means is when we type in the url in, in this text box and we, when we click the search button it will just show up in this uh, web browser Next, we're going to give this back and forward button something to do. So, select your button back. Go to properties again. And click it twice. And type in my web browser. Dot. Go back. So, this will just go into the previous bar previous uh, window whatever you have in the web browser and then go to your form again select the uh, forward button and open up a properties window and click it twice and type in my web browser dot go forward So let's run our application now. So this is our back and forward buttons. This is the text box you will type your URL in and this is the search button. And our web browser should be over here even if you don't see it. So now let's say you need to go to Google but you can't just type in google.com because you need to get the full URL. So you go to your normal browser and type in Google. and get the full, full URL and then paste it and search and as you can see just Google just showed up here now let's say we want to test our back and forward buttons 
so you go to another website let's say uh, Microsoft get the full URL and paste it and search so as you can see the Microsoft website just showed up in here so if you go back you will arrive at Google and if you go forward you will see the Microsoft website here it is so this is it for this video hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time also I'd like to give a shout out to two more channels one is the Blazing MSI Gamer and the other is Embers Gaming both of them are about uh, Minecraft and Roblox so if you are interested please give your support by subscribing also you can check them out over here in my channel section